Hi there, welcome to Phoenix Screencast. In this episode, I'll show you how easy it is to deploy Phoenix to Heroku. There are community Heroku build packs for Elixir and Phoenix to make it easy to deploy to Heroku. So I'd like to show you both Heroku build pack Elixir, this, and Heroku build pack Phoenix Static. I'll link both of these in the show notes. Now, in case you're wondering, You'll only need to use Heroku Build Pack Phoenix Static if you're using Phoenix with Node. Now, usually you'd be using Node to build static assets for your Phoenix app. But if you're not using, if you don't need Node, or like for example, you're just building a, you're using Phoenix as a pure JSON API server and you don't build any static assets. So in, in that case, you'd only need to use Heroku Build Pack Elixir. But if you're using Node, then you need to use both Heroku Build Pack Elixir and Hero Heroku Build Pack Phoenix Static. Now we'll create a new Phoenix app and immediately deploy that to Heroku. So to do that, we do mix phoenix.new and call this Heroku Deploy. Now that's completed and we've moved to our Heroku Deploy directory off screen, we'll initialize our Git repository. To do that, we do git init, and then we do git add, and then we do our first commit. All right, next, okay, we do this. Okay, next we do Heroku create. Now, make sure you have your Heroku CLI installed before you're able to do, before you do this. And what this does is it creates an app on Heroku and then it automatically adds a uh, remote. So if we check git remote, you see that we have Heroku remote added here and uh, you know, it points to, our, points to our Heroku apps git repository. Since we'll be working with build packs, we'll need to add the Heroku Elixir build pack and the Heroku build pack Phoenix static. So we'll just copy this and then we do Heroku build packs set. Next we'll need to add uh, the other build pack. So we do build packs add and then we add the Heroku build pack Phoenix static. So now we see both build packs have been added and note that number, uh, number one is Heroku build pack Elixir and next is Heroku build pack Phoenix static. So the build packs will be executed in this order. Before we're able to deploy our app to Heroku, we're gonna need to make some changes to our project. So we need to open this and the first change we need to make is to remove this from our git ignore. We need to commit prod.secret.exs. Another option is to copy, copy the contents of prod.secret.exs into prod.exs but in here we'll, this is just a faster way to go so we just remove that from git ignore so we do git add and then we commit it and then we say um, commit prod.secret.exs now secret key base is ideally not included in our Git repository for security reasons. Now, to do, we're gonna have to remove this and replace it instead with this. So we call this secret key base. All right. So we expect an end variable with this name, and then for our database settings, we'll replace this with a database URL from the system environment. So we'll call this database URL. Okay. Next we'll need to set secret key base on Heroku. So to do this we do mix phoenix.gen.secret and this gives us a secret key. So afterwards we do config set. This sets an end variable in our in Heroku. Oh I did that wrong. So 
we'll need to set the key, which is secret key base. And this is our secret key. All right, now that's done, we'll try and deploy it to Heroku after we commit this, that is. So we do a git commit, git and git commit ready for Heroku. All right, now to deploy to Heroku, we just do git push Heroku master. Now that it's done deploying to Heroku, we'll check out our site on Heroku. So we do Heroku open. And we see that it's running our site just fine. And that's all for this episode. Thanks for watching. I'll be sharing some links in the show notes, so check those out. And if you're interested in more screencasts like this, please check out phoenixscreencast.com.